In 2016 is really shifting focus following the terror in Paris. Refugees are just one of the talking points as candidates lay out their plans on how they'd keep Americans safe. Within the last week, in fact, several Republican candidates have come to the Palmetto State to talk about national security, including Ohio Governor John Kasich, who was in Spartanburg today. Addie Hampton was there. and. You actually got to sit down and talk one on one with Governor Kasich. That's right, Gordon. Governor Kasich said he planned to roll out his national security plan in December, but in the wake of these attacks, he moved that up. And we got to be able to see them. Surrounded by burgers and shakes at the Beacon Drive In in Spartanburg, Ohio Governor John Kasich says we're at war. I think we are in a war with, with these radicals. It's perhaps an unlikely place to talk terrorism, ISIS, and threats within our borders, but to the crowd who came out to hear the presidential hopeful, Kasich says we can't get comfortable in light of the terror in Paris. This is an attack on our way of life. I've been saying this for months that, uh, you know, these people are not interested in a negotiation. With 18 years on the House Armed Services Committee, Kasich is using his experience to bolster himself as a national security candidate this week, laying out plans to protect our borders and eliminate ISIS. You go and you just destroy them. You take the battle to them, and then you've got to advance the battle, the war of ideas. Boots on the ground is a shared idea with fellow candidate Jeb Bush, who called this week for overwhelming force to defeat ISIS during a Charleston campaign stop. Last week in Green Frontrunner Dr. Ben Carson took the whatever it takes mentality in front of a crowd of 5,000. Meanwhile, candidates like Ted Cruz are focused on Syrian you refugees, crying out for an all out ban on Muslim refugees. I would prefer for us to have the no fly zone with a sanctuary so they don't have to leave. Governor Kasich says he'd like to see regional allied countries like Jordan and Saudi Arabia welcome refugees, cutting down on the need to flee far and wide. In the meantime, as a Governor, he says the time is now to step back and learn more about what we're dealing with. I think it's very smart to take a breather, take a break until all of the intelligence officials say, Yeah, we think these people are safe. And in the immediate future, Kasich would like to see the U.S. join together with NATO allies to help France respond to Friday's attacks. All right, so let's talk about this idea of boots on the ground, because yeah. what we're really talking about is American men and women on the ground. Exactly. A, a Reuters poll this week said 76 percent of American voters do not support that idea. So did, did Governor Kasich talk to you about how he would overcome that resistance here to war there. You know, not quite yet, nor did he say how many troops he'd like to send at this point. He simply said an air campaign is not enough from his experience, and he said it's time to be swift, decisive, and absolute. Thank you, Addie. Thank you.